In today's video, I'm gonna be using an old school hot rolling technique on a much newer school motorcycle. This is a modern Triumph bobber, which I don't really see as a true bobber, but as a tribute to real bobbers. Real bobbers were actually the bikes what people took parts off of to make them lighter and faster back in the day. And they bobbed them, that's why they're called bobbers. And I actually use my modern Triumph bobber as a genuine bobber. Because when I go to the track, there's things I like to do to bob it. Like I'll take the rear guard off and the exhaust has now been treated to a bob job too. I haven't made any content lately because I've been getting on with other things in life and I've been really busy with the bike actually trying to sort out the oil pressure problem which I thought I had. I've actually put another bottom end in it now for my other spare engine and I've actually got an oil gauge on it too. And the oil pressure, it's not really a problem at the moment. It's a little bit lower than I'd like it to be, but it's okay. I haven't actually made any content about doing all this because it's all stuff you've seen before anyway. So both both the bottom ends I've got do have the same oil pressure and a little problem I had. So I don't know whether it is actual engine damage or not. I'm going to look into this. Whether or not running boost through this engine causes problems like that or not, I'm not sure because this sort of thing is very secret squirrel after these products have been sold. So I'm here to go through all this and find these things out and let you guys know. But anyway, the oil pressure is not really a problem at the moment. So now we're going to get on and get to the drag strip shortly and do all this other stuff I'm doing and I've got planned. Right, this is the standard bobber header for the number one cylinder. And this is a bit of my old exhaust off of my um, Street Triple R, which has come in handy for all sorts of things because I made my X-pipe out of it. But now we're going to utilise it again for something else. So as you can see there, that's the standard exhaust, which the pipe's been blanked off and then it goes around a bend to go into the catalyst. Always wear gloves and always have a guard on your grinder. I don't use one but don't be like me because it's so easy to get your fingers caught in it. And that's the exact that's the actual exhaust pipe this is just a cover Gonna get for now. We'll have to grind that out.
take my torch to that exhaust pipe so I can see see in there so I can see what I need to grind out. It's actually a bit easier than I thought. But this down here is all double skinned so that's a bit thicker. So well, I'll keep at it and grind it out. Right, while I'm at it, I'm going to do something else. I don't know how familiar you are with these clamps on the standard cat and actually getting the exhaust in there is a real fiddle when it's on the bike and they don't seal that way anyway. So we're, I'm going to use the remainder of, of this header and do something about it.
I wanted to stick a piece of pipe or wood or something straight through there to actually get them level but there's stuff inside there on the edge here and it's not letting me do that so I've just done it by eye it should be alright because they're only short and exhausts are going in like that so I reckon it'll be okay And now I've just stuck the clamp around there and that holds that a lot better and it's going to be a lot quicker and simpler as well. This is the exhaust system at the moment. It's got the standard silencers which have been modified so that I can remove the ends and take the inners out so I can have them totally open or I can have them totally standard or I can just have the end baffles in. And there's the cat which has been opened up and it's got no guts inside of it. God, it's got to be out now, surely. Hey, there you go. And they're my headers, so I can take the blanking plugs off and have completely open headers, or I can have it going through the cat like that. The thing I have got to address though is my wideband oxygen sensor, I need to weld two bungs into the headers so that when I'm using an open exhaust I can actually check my AFR because it will run a lot leaner and I need to sort that out. I do have an X-pipe as well which I've been running on the street and I've actually got modified Norton silencers with a bigger bore tube which I've been running which are really good but they're way too loud so that's why I put this system together with a cat so it's actually a lot quieter for the street. That's my X pipe there look and these are bigger bore and I've got bungs in there for my oxygen sensor. So that's the exhaust I've got on here at the moment so I'm going to be testing it out on the drag strip with the open headers. It might not gain any more power or it might do but I've certainly got to remap it with them as well. As for the street exhaust I've got on it, it's not the optimal for performance. I did have a really nice exhaust system on it, which was really good. But I'm messing about with this because it was too loud. So this is much quieter. And it actually looks like it's a standard exhaust because it looks like it's got the original cat on it. It's got the Lambda probes in there and everything else. And depending on where you live, you might have problems with modified exhaust and things like that. So these are some modifications what actually might help you out. Or get you thinking about what you can do. This is what this channel is all about, getting you to think outside the box rather than just chucking a load of money at something and buying something off a shelf. Saying that, I did chuck a load of money at buying a supercharger, but this is something which has been a base for me to actually develop the bike and really help the channel grow and help the bike develop and give me new ideas to do different things and to show you guys too. Right, what I have to do now is I've got a make a map for it for the open headers not really sure how i'm going to do that might have to wait till i get to the drag strip or what i might do is i might just pull the silences off have it running through the open cat and tune it like that and then just allow a little bit more for when i have got the headers open so that's that then if you haven't already subscribed subscribe like this video and comment and okay i suppose <laughs> I suppose you better hear what it sounds like, hey? So, this is what it sounds like just going through the silencer. I don't have the lagging in the middle, I've just got the baffles in the end.
And now all I need to do is get my Allen key, give it a bit of this, And that one comes off. <laughs> and that's what that sounds like. So, comment, subscribe, like this video, and have a great day.